So one of the most common types of applications that we see for the iPhone are these navigation kinds of apps. And when I say navigation, I don't mean by GPS navigation, but rather uh, the style of application where uh, when you click on a button, it uh, the interface will navigate to a next screen. So you have sort of these hierarchically um, composed structures um, uh, for essentially going through a series of pages uh, based on some type of workflow or something like that. Uh, so within the, uh, the Titanium environment, um, there is support for navigation. Uh, and I think you'll see a lot of this with uh, the use of tables and we'll, we'll revisit navigation when we, um, when we look at tables. Uh, but I wanted to show how to, uh, how to use navigation within uh, the Titanium system by uh, putting together a simple module and uh, creating what's called a navigation group uh, within Titanium. So I've uh, created a basic window here that has uh, two buttons. They don't do anything at the moment. Um, and I've put those into a window called Win0. Um, you'll notice that I've also created another window just called Win uh, that we're going to build everything off of um, here in a moment. So the key for uh, creating one of these uh, navigation groups is the use of the navigation group um, um, component or view uh, within Titanium. So let me go ahead and create uh, one of these, uh, a navigation group. And let's see, I don't need that to open that. So I'm going to, so I've created this window um, that basically uh, the background color is white, layout is vertical. Um, and I do have a title on there and we'll see how that comes up uh, in a moment when we create this navigation. So I'm gonna create a variable called nav um, and I'm going to um, autocorrect, gets me again. Um, I'm going to use the iPhone dot create navigation group and uh, this has uh, one um, property in particular that we want to use called window and I'm going to set win zero to be that window so essentially what's going to happen here then is I'm going to I've created a um, a navigation group that contains this uh, this window and then it's going to have a title here called home. And actually, let's run this in the simulator and see what happens with it. Just take a moment for the simulator to come up. Oh, I haven't actually shown anything. I haven't added in. Yeah, this isn't going to quite work yet. So actually, I need to add this navigation to the window and I need to open the window. Let's try it again. Okay, so uh, now I have this navigation bar up at the top. The, our application still doesn't do anything because if I click on one of these, uh, I, I don't have any code for that. Um, what I would like to have happens when I click on this, it'll transition to a new window um, that, um, that will then have a back button on it uh, that I can use to transition back. Okay, so let's, uh, let's create that, um, that window um, using a common JS module. Um, so what I would like to do is um, let's create module in here Let's see I guess I have some things that I need to delete here these aren't playing any role I'm going to create <clears throat> a file that I'm going to call sub window and um, essentially um, I'm creating a common JS module so I'm going to do Sub window equals function. And I'm going to pass to this a color. This will be the color of the background of the window. And then I'm going to pass to this also the, uh, the navigation object that was created in the previous, um, on the previous uh, file. 
Uh, we're going to create a variable called self. And we'll create a window and the background color for this will be this color that was passed in plus uh, I'm going to create a nav property um, it's going to take this uh, navigation object and then I'm going to do a vertical layout Um, now, what I'm going to do with um, this view is I'm also going to create a button that uh, will allow us to navigate even deeper into, um, uh, in, into this hierarchy. So I'm just going to create a button, create a button, and I'll give the title uh, go for right and then top I'm just going to put it 10 pixels from the top of the screen and then I also need to uh, I need to create an event listener for this button so on click What we're going to do is, uh, oh, so I'm going to make this sort of a recursive thing. I'm going to continue to uh, to load one of these sub-window objects and, um, or, yeah, load the sub-window and then tra traverse to that. So let's call deepwind equals require sub-window. And then I'm going to create um, an instance of that and I'm going to pass it a color in this case I'm just going to pass green and then we do need to pass the uh, the navigation with that and then finally um, we're going to open um, this and actually I need to describe a couple of things here so this, the way that navigation works is that these navigation objects, uh, essentially you open a window and you pass, uh, you pass it a, another window. So I'm going to do um, nav.open, so it tells it to open whatever window I pass to it. In this case, I'm going to pass deeper to it. And then I can uh, provide a, um, some properties of how to actually um, display that and I'm going to use animated true in this case which is going to then uh, provide an animation so that the windows appear to slide in and out um, okay and then finally I need to add the button to the view return the view and then export it Okay, so again, the key here is the way that the navigation works, and we'll see this in the next screen. In the next uh, uh, screen, also, um, but uh, what we want to do is take a navigation object, pass it a window, and then uh, uh, and then also describe uh, how to uh, view the animation. Um, so that's uh, that's a piece that we're going to use uh, within the event listeners for these buttons as well. Um, and the code is actually going to look very familiar. Um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and create this. Um, we're going to do button zero dot add event listener. And uh, in this case, uh, we're going to create, uh, oh, I, I, I should actually do the require statement. So I'm going to do the require outside of these.
and then I'm just going to instantiate them within the listener. So when one equals new sub when, and then I need to give it a color. So the first one, I'm going to give it a color blue, um, and then I'm going to pass the nav in there. And then I'm going to do nav.open when one, and the same thing animated true. And then the second uh, button is going to be extremely similar. We'll call this win two. And let's give this a color yellow. And then in this case, instead of animating it, let's let's not animate it. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So um, again, the the key part here is the use of this navigation object. So you pass it a window, you pass it um, the um, properties for how to actually display it, and uh, then what the interface will do will sl it, it will slide or not slide depending on the, the parameter you've used. Okay, so let's uh, let's build this and see what happens. Okay, so here's my um, my home window. Click on. Um, the first one you saw the animation and actually if I click on this we'll continue to see that animation and I'm going to go back and then same thing with window 2 this time no animation um, except hmm, it's not actually oh I didn't change the button that again. So window two, it just appears. Now, um, one of the things that we can do with the sub window part here, we can set the title of the screen. Uh, uh, we would then need to add uh, yet another parameter. Um, but let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to see title. And then for the window, title. Let me make that underscore title. And then uh, I need to also do this here. More. So I need to give those a name. And then I need to give a name to the windows here. So call it blue. And let's call this one yellow. And actually, let me uh, change this for more string equals more plus. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, so go here, you see the title is blue, more blue, except it's green, and then we'll, we should see more and more blue. That'll just continue to go on indefinitely. Anyway, um, so that's the way navigation works. Uh, we're going to see uh, a lot of this when we start doing tables, uh, but I wanted to give you the basics here um, with, uh, uh, with this lesson. Again, the key part here is the use of the navigation group. It is only available for iPhone, uh, so keep that in mind. Um, and then the other thing is, um, this. the other key here is the nav open. You pass it a window and then you pass it um, the um, uh, properties of how you want the, uh, the animation to appear when the, uh, when the button or whatever it is that's um, creating your transition um, occurs. So anyway, that concludes this lesson.